Hi everyone. Um, just I've had a lot of people ask me what we do on the channel. Some of the people saying, obviously you're a builder, and a few have asked what we want to, what we do for a living. So I'm just going to show what pays for holidays that I do for the other thing. Just a little bit different. Um, this is one project we're just on with at the moment. It's in a little village called Farnhill um, in West Yorkshire, just near Skipton where we live. And the whole of these two cottages have been rendered. Um, I think they did in the 50s. Um, it's got what they call a real grandad mix on it. Must be one to one. It's taking some knocking off, having to revert to hammers and chisels because the chipping hammers are doing too much damage. Um, you can probably see there's some brickwork. I'll go over and have a look at it in a minute. But we're just going to see the project. The idea that they wanted to render it back, or if they could point it. Now I've recommended they point it with a light mix that we've done with other things. So. We'll do, I'll just show you some things on it first before we go because obviously we're still in the process of knocking it all off and revealing all the stonework that's under there. As you can see a lot of things have gone on. Um, there's a big massive oak beam, uh, pitch pine beam should I say, where obviously it's a double fronted house, it's four storeys at the front, it goes double at the back. Um, but obviously there's brickwork around the windows, some doorways that have been walled up there. So my aim at the moment is I'm just using a grinder, flat face grinder to clean the brickwork back off to get the faces nice and even again because we're on about pointing that as well. Um, I'll do the same up there when we've done. So the idea is I'll give you a like a preview before and after. Um, so we'll try and get this sorted in the next, that's going to be like a, it might be another fortnight before we get finished because we've got to have a break to just need to do another job before but I'll do another one when we've knocked it all off, cleaned it and made it all a bit neater than it is. Um, ready for pointing, obviously we're going to grind the beam and the beam's going to stay as well, the pitch pine treat it with some um, special oil. Um, we'll go over it with a wire brush on the grinder first to clean it all off, seam all the storm work out um, and then we're going to point it with a nice neat mix and brush back in um, like we normally do. So obviously there's another doorway there. It was why I've been told a butcher's shop um, obviously this is the main street in Farnham, if you ever come, there's a car coming past. So, like I say, I'll just leave you when the car comes past. I'll leave you with that picture of that, and I'll get back to you when we're a bit further on with progress. So, see you soon guys, bye! So there you go guys, day two. We've uncovered all this this morning. Um, more brickwork around there, around the top, over the bottom. So, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to put a new lintel in over there, um, clean all the brickwork up up there, um, and also clean all the masonry joints out, and we'll come back tomorrow and do another video before we start, and see you in the morning. So yeah, so going pretty well, and it's a little bit dusty, I can say, today. So, as you can see, a little bit dusty. So, see you tomorrow guys, part two. Hi again everyone, just looking at this cottage again, um, just now we've got knocked the main of it all off. Um, you can see all that with brickwork um, around those windows. It's fairly ornate, we think this has been single storey because we've got all this delf wall in here. Um, we're going to just put some jams like I've said, which we've got on the pick up there. There's a couple of new jams and a new head. We're just on with putting a new head over what we've replaced this timber that Chris has just taken out. Um, we've got an acro prop in that one for timber. But as you can see, I don't think it's going to need so much propping. Um, we're going to put a new lintel over there, stone lintel, um, and a cavity tray back. So obviously we've cleaned all this brickwork out. We've got that brickwork around the chin. It looks a bit, some people don't like it, it looks a bit... Un, sort of like untidy but when it's all pointed back I'm sure it'll look well there's this old doorway here but I just thought I'd show this bit um, close up now we've seamed it all out a bit while we're putting this thing we'll put this lintel back in and wall all the stonework back in again later today uh, I'm going to move the fall pipe into the corner because it's hideous there it's spoiling some of the stonework but um, yeah I'm going to clean all the sills off with a grinder but notice this as well on this one now we've cleaned it off this doorway has been extended by two little bits as well. But they're just undingers them, they're absolutely, they're cracking at them. But yeah, no, all the stonework, like I say, was just, this is just too untidy. So we're just going to replace around the door um, with two short jams and binders. So basically going to put a short jam to there with a binder in there and another one on top. 
So because they're keeping the door, there's a lot of new grey windows, anthracite coloured windows going in. We've got to clean it all out a bit, but this, pointing this out to some people, if you want to have a look at this, get onto your council, if you've got one of these like this, bolted to your house, by rights they should pay you so much, it's not much, it'll be between 10 to 30 quid a year, but they should pay you, if it's actually bolted to your house, the electric company should, let's say, should pay you for that. And just to prove how crap some of these things are, that has never had a clip on it, ever. It's, we've found no clips on it, there was none on the render. And then at the top, all they've done is extend out of that 1940s box with a bit of twin and earthing to put on there. And it fell off when we've done it. So we've had to anchor it back on and we've had to put a zippy tie around the lens because that was knackered as well. So that's um, good upkeep by your local electric board there. So, but yeah, if you've got one of them fastened to your house, just check with your council because, like I said, they should pay you for it. So. Right, well, we'll crash on. I'll do another one soon um, and I'll put that on when we've got a bit nearer. Might even have a bit of pointing done. But I'll probably put another one when we've put the head back in. So, see you soon, guys. Bye. Hi again, everyone. Just showing a bit more. Chris is just up there now to put one of the new stone lintels in. Um, I've just got her behind him. Um, he's just putting cavity train now, putting a UPVC cavity train over at the top because obviously that beam above it's stained taking the prop out because it's going nowhere is that beam um, for all you budding guys out there seeing a lot of builders with little tips if you ever find an old dustbin lid there you go splash guard splash guard for your bell mixer yeah, sits on there pour your water in then put that on splash guard for your mixer we're just mixing on the floor at the moment but we've got to dust sheet down try and keep road clean when we do it all but yeah so I'm about to go up there, clean all this brickwork off. We just thought we'd show you put Chris putting the cavity tray in, um, ready to wall it back. So I'll leave you with Chris putting cavity tray in. See you soon. Bye. There we go. Just filled Chris's handiwork. There you go. Mr. Price's handiwork. And I'll get on with cleaning that beam. Wall to wall up jams to put in no so yeah don't know about that brickwork up there yet though might have to have another th rethink on that one up there one wooden beam gone one new stone link link with a cavity tray onwards and upwards there you go guys, end of another day. Um, Holt Street just basically cleaned up. Um, there's Beam, we've cleaned that up a bit with wire brush. Uh, just cleaned all the brickwork up, just got to do all the joints tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Um, many people have stopped, as is now interesting, it's looking. Some people think it's a patchwork quilt. Um, I think it's going to look pretty good when it's pointed, but then again, that's me. Um, I think it'll look even better when the grey windows are in. So, but yeah, just leave you a picture of what that's going to be like and see what it's going to be when it's pointed. Just a little bit of stonework there to pick out. But yeah, see how it goes tomorrow. We'll put the jams in tomorrow on the door. Two new jams, short jams, and binders. And then we'll put them in tomorrow. And Friday, probably point this elevation and let people see it over at weekend. So, I'll leave you with that. See you soon, guys. Bye.
Well, just filming the last part of it, just put the uh, false, uh, what is it, well, not false, and they're going to light up later on at the moment, it's just a false one, the, uh, what is it, one there, the box for the alarm, um, just finally done around that window, they've had all the new windows fit now, so, had that many comments on it, so, but yeah, it's turned out really well as this property, so, yeah, if you ever think, you know, moving up north and you want to knock all your property off or get all the render, see what's underneath it. There you go, typical of as well, it's like being abroad, motorbikes everywhere. So, couldn't have timed that better, could he? So, anyway, so there you go. All done, sorted. So, I think we're coming back next spring to do the gable so we'll see what that looks like but as it goes we'll just leave with the view of that so yeah that's what we do to earn as cuss to go across and do as videos in fact doing so see you soon guys bye hi everyone um just I've had a lot of people ask me what we do on their channel some of the people saying obviously you're a builder and a few have asked what we want to what we do for a living so I'm just going to show what pays for holidays that I do for the other thing just a little bit different um, this is one project we're just on with at the moment it's in a little village called Farnhill um, in West Yorkshire just near Skipton where we live and the whole of these two cottages have been rendered um, I think they did it in 50s um, it's got what they call a real grandad mix on it must be one to one it's taking some knocking off having to revert to hammers and chisels because the chipping hammers are doing too much damage um, you can probably see there's some brickwork I'll go over and have a look at it in a minute but we're just going to see the project the idea that they wanted to render it back or if they could point it now I've recommended they point it with a light mix that we've done with other things so we'll do I'll just show you some things on it first before we go because obviously we're still in the process of knocking it all off and revealing all the stonework that's under there as you can see a lot things have gone on um, there's a big massive oak beam uh, pitch pine beam should I say where obviously it's a double fronted house it's four stories at the front it goes double at the back um, but obviously there's brickwork around the windows some doorways that have been walled up there so my aim at the moment is I'm just using a grinder flat face grinder to clean the brickwork back off to get the faces nice and even again because we're on about pointing that as well um, I'll do the same up there when we've done so the idea is I'll give you a like a preview before and after um, so we'll try and get this sorted in the next I was gonna be like a it might be another fortnight before we get finished because we've got to have a break to just need to do another job before but I'll do another one when we've knocked it all off cleaned it and made it all a bit neater than it is um, ready for pointing obviously we're gonna grind the beam and the beam is gonna stay as well the pitch pine treat it with some um, special oil and um, we'll go over it with a wire brush on the grinder first to clean it all off seam all the storm work out um, and then we're going to point it with a nice neat mix and um, brush back in um, like we normally do so obviously there's another doorway there it was why i've been told a butcher's shop um, obviously this is the main street in final if you ever come there's a car coming past so like i say i'll just leave you when the car comes past i'll leave you with that picture of that and I'll get back to you when we're a bit further on with progress. So, see you soon guys. Bye.